I'm going to talk about 3D to 2D coordinate transforms. Really what I'm, this lecture is about three-dimensional to two-dimensional projections. Now we've already seen how to do this, how to project 3D points onto a 2D image. Uh, we just use this uh, simple pinhole camera model and uh, trigonometry and geometry of similar triangles. So what we're going to do now is look at how to model this using matrix multiplications. And this will better help us understand uh, and model perspective projection, other projection types such as weak perspective projection, and special cases such as the projection of a planar surface. So first let's um, model the uh, intrinsic camera parameters. <clears throat> so intrinsic camera parameters are the focal length f, the distance from the center of the camera to the image plane, uh, the sensor element sizes, or equivalently you can just specify the focal length in pixels um, fx and fy. We will also need the optical center of the image, uh, which pixel location that is, where the uh, optical axis pierces the image plane. So we can put all this information in a matrix K um, that has the focal length divided by SX here, focal length divided by SY here, uh, center S C X C Y, or if we just use uh, focal length in pixels, uh, we put that on the diagonal elements here. Um, typically, we, we use this form of it because we don't really care about the exact um, sensor element size and things like that. Okay, so I said that we could um, accomplish the uh, projection using a matrix multiplication. So let's see how that's done. Basically, we take our point XYZ in homogeneous coordinates, which means we add a 1 to uh, make an additional element of a 1, and we multiply by this 3 by 4 matrix, uh, mostly 1s and zeros, with the zeros in the last column. So all this does is it gets rid of this uh, last 1 here, and we're just left with XYZ. So the point of this is that we can treat this XYZ as a two-dimensional point in homogeneous coordinates. So homogeneous coordinates, remember um, the convention is that if the last element becomes not one, we divide through um, the entire uh, vector so that it becomes a one. So this result essentially is x over z, y over z, and then of course 1. This kind of looks like our image point because remember the equations we used for perspective projection was uh, focal length times x over z plus cx, where that's the center, and y was f y over z plus cy. So if we assume that f equals 1 and cx and cy were zeros, then this is exactly the image projection of a point. And this convention of f equal 1, cx, cy equals 0, 0 is uh, called normalized image coordinates. So often it uh, is helpful to convert, to express your image point, uh, image points in normalized image coordinates as if it were taken by a camera um, with these properties. So the complete perspective projection if we have a point represented in the coordinate system of the camera, so that's what this uh, leading C here represents, we just multiply by that matrix composed of ones and zeros, and then our camera intrinsics matrix K. The result is a two-dimensional homogeneous point, and again, the convention is that we have to divide through by that third element to get our resulting uh, image point. Uh, to see that this is true, um, let's just multiply it out. So here's our matrix K, here's our matrix of ones and zeros. Multiplying that through uh, gets us to XYZ, and then multiplying K times that gets us this vector, and then we have to divide through by the third element, so we get this here. So that's, that's our uh, uh, perspective projection equations that we've seen before. Okay, what happens if the point is not in the coordinate system of the camera? So let's say the point is in uh, world coordinates. 
So we'll need to first transform then to camera coordinates. So uh, P with this leading sup superscript W represents our 3D point and world coordinates. Um, H from W to C, that's our 4x4 transformation matrix uh, from world to camera. And so if I multiply those two together, I get the point in 3D point and camera coordinates here. And again, the convention is that um, in this notation that the leading subscript cancels the trailing superscript. So what is H? It's just the rotation matrix and the upper 3x3 port here. And the translation, which represents the origin of the world in the camera's coordinate system. So um, that um, 4x4 matrix, I can just take the uh, upper three rows, so I'm just deleting this fourth row, to get a 3x4 matrix uh, that looks like this. Just the rotation part here, the translation part here, um, and here are the elements here. So I call this the extrinsic camera parameter matrix. So this represents all the, it's the external properties of the camera, namely its pose. But uh, just bear in mind though that this is, the convention is from world to camera and not camera to world here. So the complete perspective projection in general then, if I have a point in say world coordinates and I wanna project that to the image, is I take the point in world coordinates multiply it by my extrinsic um, camera parameter matrix, and then time the intrinsic parameter matrix. And then, of course, divide through by my third element. OK, let's take an example. Um, this is uh, an example I did earlier uh, when I was trying to do 3D coordinate transforms. I've got a camera. It's sitting on a vehicle. So this is the origin of the vehicle. And the vehicle is located in the world. Here's the world origin. So let's say that the camera observes a point in the world <coughs> over here, given by coordinates 16, 0, and minus 1. And homogeneous coordinates, I add a 1 to this. So um, since these are rotated frames with respect to each other, um, uh, in my previous example, my previous lecture, I showed how to compute the rotation matrix of vehicle to world and from camera to vehicle. And then the third column here, fourth column here, is the uh, origin of the vehicle in the world coordinate system. And this column is the origin of the camera in the, in the vehicle coordinate system. Okay. And then um, I'm just going to assume that the camera has a uh, focal length of 512 pixels. Center is at 256, 256. So that's going to go into our matrix K. So if I, <coughs> if I can um, compute MEXT, multiply that by the world point, and then finally by, um, by my intrinsic parameter K, that will give me the pixel location of the point in the camera.